Hi, I'm David from Up Here Media, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to get the DJI Flight Simulator running on a Mac. In the description to this video, you will find a link to the support page on Apple's website for Bootcamp Assistant, and you'll be able to check if your Mac supports Windows 10, any of those in the list here. If so, you'll be able to download an ISO disk image from Microsoft and by selecting your edition, obviously Windows 10 here, and choosing your language, go for English International, confirm, and that will generate a link which is valid for 24 hours to download Windows. So I'm gonna download the 64-bit version of Windows here. That will download a four and a half gig disk image. Then we fire up Boot Camp Assistant, and that will help you to set up the Mac for booting into Windows. So the first thing you need to do is partition your Mac and you can do that by dragging on this slider in the create a partition window. So I selected about 100 gig which is plenty and then Bootcamp Assistant will go ahead and partition your disk for installing Windows. One tip is that you need to make sure any external drives are unplugged at this stage otherwise the Windows installer may fail and then after a few minutes your Mac will be set up to boot into Windows. It's then a simple case of restarting your Mac and when the Mac restarts you need to hold down the option key on your keyboard and you will get a screen asking you to choose a partition for which system to boot into and obviously you can boot into Windows. Once you're up and running on Windows you can go to the DJI website and download the installer for the flight simulator. Install it with the default options, but before you go ahead and run it for the first time, you'll need to double check that you have the prerequisites installed. So if you go to your Bootcamp C drive, Program Files x86, DJI Flight Simulator, and scroll down to the bottom of this list, you will see UE4 Prereq Setup. This is gonna install the Unreal Engine, the 3D stuff that the flight simulator requires in order to run properly. If you try running without this step, you'll probably find that it crashes out on you. So once you've installed these prerequisites, which you only have to do the first time, the next thing to do is to connect your controller. So I'm just gonna use a micro USB cable here, plugged into a USB hub connected to the back of my iMac and power on the controller. You can then run the flight simulator and in the window that pops up, this is just the launcher window, you will need to log into your DJI account first, again, just the once, the first time you run it, and then you will be good to go ahead and start. And we are in. We can use the left stick on the controller to navigate the menus, the buttons on the back of the controller to go backwards and forwards. You can also use the WASD keys on your keyboard and enter, and you can go into general settings where you'll find all the options for graphics, so full screen mode, windowed mode, 720p and 1080p, 30 and 60 frames a second, and low to high quality. Then it's just a matter of selecting your level, choosing your start off point, and going and flying. I hope that's been helpful. Thank you for watching and have a great day.